A rotavirus is a very small virus. It's a very, very, very infectious agent. How infectious? Only 10 particles of the virus can make you sick. Uh, it infects mostly infants and children under five years of age. Uh, and it's so infectious that pretty much every child across the world in poor and rich countries, they end up getting rotavirus, at least one event of rotavirus diarrhea before they reach five years of age. I think what happens typically uh, to a child who contracts the virus, within one to two days, they start developing profuse diarrhea, up to 10 to 20 large uh, voluminous episodes of diarrhea. Uh, so you, ma you might imagine an infant, you know, weighing 10 to 15 kilos. Uh, when they have that much diarrhea, they get dehydrated pretty rapidly within a few hours. Uh, on top of that, they're vomiting so profusely, they can't hold anything down. The treatment for that, uh, if you want to, if you are able to treat them, is oral rehydration solution in the right amounts of salt and sugar and clean water. Uh, it, you can reverse the dehydration. However, you might imagine that, uh, you know, first of all, access to such oral rehydration solution may not be available. Two, even if it is available, the child has profuse amounts of vomiting, so they can't tolerate the oral rehydration. And three, they can't find access to a clinic where IV hydration is available and which should fix the dehydration. So I think all that uh, sort of combined leads to a perfect storm which can cause, you know, uh, which can lead to death in that child in the poor settings of the world. Rotavirus uh, cannot be treated with, uh, you know, antibacterial uh, antibiotics or antiviral agents. Uh, so there's no treatment uh, for rotavirus itself. And for that reason, uh, you know, vaccines are the most effective uh, ways of preventing the disease in the first place. Two vaccines that are available have now been used for the past five years in many, many, many countries. Uh, majority, the concentration of the countries that are using it now are in the Americas. And in fact, uh, the Americas is, uh, are a great microcosm for Africa and Asia because there's a a wide range of countries and wide range of development from extremely poor countries like Nicaragua, El Salvador, Honduras, Bolivia to richer countries like Mexico and Brazil. Uh, or the experience from uh, those countries has been very interesting and fascinating. They have seen marked reduction in rotavirus diarrhea and just all-cause diarrhea uh, among children under five. Most importantly, both Mexico and Brazil, which are very large countries, have seen large reductions in diarrhea deaths, up to uh, 3,000 diarrhea deaths in these three, two countries combined over the past two to three years. And you're talking about 3,000 diarrhea deaths per year that they have prevented because of vaccination. I think it's a pretty impressive figure.